Hi everyone, welcome back to Mademoiselle Tarot. And for all those that are new, welcome. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. I appreciate each and every one of you. Tonight I'm doing a reading on Chad Daybell. A continuation of the Lori Vallow reading. I would like to know what involvement he had with the Vallow children's demise of his wife's death. And how he's going to go in his trial. Keep in mind that this is a tarot reading and everybody is innocent until proven guilty in the court of law. Let's get started. I've asked the angel guides and spirit to join me in this read, to give me clear messages and to protect me and guide me for Chad Daybell. And what was his involvement? In Laurie Vallow's children's death, JJ and Tylee, what was Chad's involvement, please? I'll keep that. So we're starting off with the sun. Look like oh, the lovers. And the Knight of Coins. We have the Hangman in reverse. The Hierophant. We have the Ten of Swords. The Four of Wands, the Queen of Coins. One more card, please, Spirit. What was Chad's involvement with JJ? And Tylee's death, please. Chad Daybell. One more card, please, Spirit. Thank you. We have the Eight of Coins. Now in the heart of the spread, sorry, we have the Emperor. The Father figure.
Now, we started off with the sun here, enlightenment. He actually thought that he was enlightened, like he, he knew it all. His beliefs system, what he believed in, I believe he was writing books and trying to write his own kind of religion here. He really did believe that he was the enlightened one. And so did Laurie. Laurie. He was very obsessive about his beliefs. Very stubborn, wasn't prepared to look at a new perspective in things at all. It was like there was a sacrifice here. He was meant to be their father figure. Or he is a father, but he wasn't, he didn't want to be a father figure to these children. It was a painful ending at the home. Him and Laurie had worked on a plan. They were both they were both involved with the planning of this. And also another male. There was money involved in this situation as well. All these murders. They definitely are going to be in jail for a long time here. I will be clarifying with the ethereal vision. What did Chad Daybell's involvement with JJ and Kay, uh, Tylee's death place spirit? I'm getting very hot here. Tell me why the sun's here. Why is the sun here, please, spirit? We have judgment. He was believing that that's what God wanted him to do. It was like he believed it was his inner calling.
to sacrifice these children. Why is the lovers here? The King of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. This definitely had a lot to do with money as well. Stability. And he was also supporting Laurie in what she wanted to do. They were supporting each other. What's this Knight of Coins, please, Spirit? The Ace of Swords. There was a mental force here. Truth. Justice, fortitude. They believed that what they were doing was right and they believed that it's above everybody else's thinking. They believe they're smarter than everybody else. They're awakened. And very stubborn and obsessive in their own truth. Clarify the hangman, please, spirit. Four of Cups. They sacrificed these children with no concern. Apathy, psychopaths, selfish, only thinking about themselves and their own beliefs. Give me more on the Emperor, please, Spirit. The Four of Pentacles, the selfish card again. He didn't want to be a father figure to these two children. He just wanted to move on and live a comfortable life.
He controlled this situation. He had full control in this whole situation. Ten of Swords. Why is this Ten of Swords here, please, Spirit? The Six of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. Knowledge is power. Having, not having. You didn't want to provide for these kids. He didn't want to be their father figure and he didn't want to provide for them. But he wanted to be with their mother. Why is this four of wands here, please, spirit? The home, family, house, Knight of Wands. Restless, hot tempered, superficial. An in and out energy. A player. He was being unfaithful to his wife, his home life. Why is this Queen of Coins here, please, Spirit? The King of Wands in reverse. Not handling a situation in the right way. I believe that Laurie might have actually been wearing the boots here. Although he was getting into her head, she seemed to be the one wearing the boots. King of Wands in reverse. King of Wands upright. Is bold, charismatic. Forceful, inspiring. Put that in reverse. He was a little lapdog. Give me more on this Eight of Coins, please, Spirit.
Well, we have the two pages, which I believe are the children, and the three of pentacles, collaboration. There's definitely three people involved here. A third person. And they planned and collaborated. To kill these two children, the three of them. So yes, he's definitely one of the three people involved in this situation. Now I'd like to see if he had anything to do with his wife's death. Did... Chad Daybell have anything to do with his wife's demise, please, Spirit? have the Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, the Fool, the Ten of Pentacles, Justice, the Knight of Swords, the Strength card. Could I have one more place, Spirit? Thank you. And the Hierophant in reverse. He was actually happily married. Settled. And then there was a turn of events when he met Laurie. And this caused the tower moment in his life. So he started falling out with his wife and he wanted to take a leap of faith with Laurie. But he was already happily married. He become obsessed with her. Fell in lust. There was definitely a cause and effect here. It was a fast action. He overpowered her. 
with all his beliefs that are just totally wrong. Bad beliefs, toxic beliefs. Give me more on the Ten of Cups, please. Did something come out? I don't think so. Yes, he started having an affair behind his wife's back. A third party situation. So he actually started seeing Laurie while he was still with his wife. Why is this wheel here, please? The Queen of Cups. Laurie's seemed to make him believe that she was on the same spiritual path. And that's why he fell for her. He saw her as loving and tender-hearted and intuitive and spiritual and psychic like himself. And it changed everything. And he started having an affair with her. Give me more on the tower, please, spirit. The world. He wanted to tie up loose ends. He wanted to complete the cycle with his wife and start anew with Laurie. And take that leap of faith. He continued to juggle them. He was trying to decide what to say to his wife or how to... How to finish... The marriage without it costing him financially. He was worried about money. Look at the Ten of Pentacles. He wanted to be with Laurie, but he built his life with his wife and he didn't know how he was going to walk away from his wife without it costing him. Financially. Give me more on the Ten of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Page of Swords. He was trying to find out some more information if there was a way of him being able to move on without it costing him anything. 
because he knew that there was going to have to be a balance, a 50-50 split. But he wanted it all. Give me more on the justice, please, spirit. Thank you. The strength. Again, the strength. He overpowered her so that he didn't have to give her half. He couldn't tame the beast. Why is this Knight of Swords here, please, Spirit? Six of Wands and the Six of Cups in reverse. He wanted victory over his wife and he didn't want the children around either. That was his plan. And he was successful in carrying out what he wanted to do. But then the public become aware of what happened to the children. He really didn't have any feelings to, towards these kids at all. And I don't believe he cared much for his wife any longer either once he met Laurie, even though he was happily married and he was stable and he was content. She came along and rocked his world. Knocked him off his feet. Turned his world around, upside down. And he was all for it. Why is the strength here? The sun again. It's going to be illuminated that he overpowered her in some way. It's going to come to light. Give me more on the Hierophant. The Fool again. He was taking a leap of faith with Laurie. He was wanting to start a new life. But he didn't want to have to start again financially. 
So he did overpower his wife. And this will come to light. They're going to realise something about her death. But he had overpowered her in some way. I'm going to see how the court case will go. Could you tell me? How the court case is going to go, please, Spirit. For Chad Daybell in regards to the three murders surrounding him, the two children and his wife. We have the High Priestess. The Ace of Swords. The Two of Swords. The Emperor. One more place, Spirit. Oh, we've got two more. We have the Seven of Coins, the Two of Coins, and the Nine of Cups. The truth is going to be seen. The jury are going to have an unconscious awareness. They're going to know what has happened here. They will make a difficult decision. And they're going to look at him as the authority figure in the situation, the leader. He's thinking there may not be enough evidence to pin him down. And there's a direction change in the case. They're juggling at the moment.
want to decide there has to be some flexibility with him. Some sort of direction change. This may have been... He's going to turn his back on her. He's going to avoid everything at all costs and tell them that he knew nothing about it, nothing about the situation. He's totally shutting himself off from her and pleading innocent. He knows nothing about it. He didn't even know. That the children were buried in his backyard? They're going to see right through him. The jury are going to see that he was a leader in this situation. And everything that happened, he wanted to happen. Because she was his dream come true. So yes, there's going to be justice here. And they are going to see right through his lies. They're going to see that it's exactly what he wanted. But he's going to be a turncoat on, on Laurie and say he knew nothing about it. I shall leave the reading there. So I'll say a little prayer for JJ and Tylee. I'm sorry you've been caught up in such evil. May you rest in peace and may you get the justice to help you rest in peace. Love and light.